Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome, man. Welcome to Beyond Classic Rock. Today, I've got a concert reaction for you, man. It's featuring the Talking Heads. It's their 1984 concert film, and it's called Stop Making Sense. Really like the Talking Heads, man. I've always liked these guys. They've got a very different sound, a uh, very, very unique signature sound, but really, really cool. I'm aware of the fact that they had a 70s career, and um, I did a, a, was it a double shop reaction? Um, maybe the first two months of my classic rock channel, um, Take Me to the River, and uh, I can't remember what the other song is. But uh, yeah, man, I know that these guys have, uh, they're an example of bands that has um, uh, traversed the rapids of going from the 70s into the 80s. And maybe their 80s career is uh, even more uh, accomplished than their 70s. Hard to say. Um, I'll let you be the judge of that. Anyways, man, uh, I just want to uh, give a shout out and a thanks to Jeffrey Davis. Jeffrey, thanks for the recommendations and providing the link, man. Uh, Jeffrey's got a note. He said, Hello, Wayne. My next request for the Beyond Classic channel is the Talking Heads 84 concert film Stop Making Sense, directed by Jonathan Demi. It's been widely praised by critics and fans and is regarded as one of the finest, if not the greatest rock concert films of all time. It currently has a 97% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes based on over 5,000 ratings. It's an hour and 38 minutes of Talking Heads and David Byrne magic, and I know you're really going to dig this. Peace. All right, Jeffrey, I trust you, man. Let's hit this up. So with a concert, what I do is I treat it like uh, an album. And so I uh, split the concert up just to take a break. But also um, in that split, I consider that to be video one, video two, uh, the review is usually sometimes a third video. It's just for the purpose of ha having the um, uh, reaction have a better chance of making it up and sticking on YouTube. I don't have issues like that with uh, Vimeo or putting it on my Patreon platform, but with YouTube, that's definitely the hurdle. So that's why I do how I do it. Uh, okay, so having said all that, long ass intro. I'm all tangled up. Let's get my cans out. Almost spilt my sugar cane rum. Damn. All right, y'all. Oh, I'm totally tangled up here, man. Hang on. Okay, there we go. So, this is part one. Talking Heads. Stop Making Sense concert. Let's get it. I toast your sparkle. Oh yeah, what I'll do too is I'll uh, I'll spiel off the name of the song. It's a long set list, so it's going to save me a lot of time in editing. First song is going to be Psycho Killer. So it looks with a concert film, they're going to have a lot of um, backstage bantering and uh, Stuff like that, some insightful stuff. Is my sound up? I'm not getting any sound here. There we go. Those are some very famous white Yahtzees. Hi. I got a tape I want to play. 1984. Back in the days of me being a Bay City breaker. <laughs> How 
Miyagi last night. Next up is Heaven Live. Everyone is trying to get 
get to the bar The name of the bar The bar is called heaven The band in heaven They play my Thanks for this list, Jeffrey. Favorite song It's gonna make things easy Play it one more time Singers. Everyone is there. I see you guys in a whole new life. Everyone will leave at exactly the same time. When this party's over, it will start again. Will not be any different. Exactly the same. Oh, heaven, heaven is a place, a place where nothing, nothing ever happens. When this kiss is over, it will start. think heaven will be like. I think it will be a place of knowledge, education, relating. Thank you for sending me an angel.
nice and clear. You don't have to strain to understand it. say that this is their signature sound in the 80s. It's a good example of it. Backup singers. Nice. So, Slippery People is next. Stardom. 
like there is a little clip of this particular song in it. himself a workout. It's gonna be more. This is Cities. I think of London, a small city, dark, dark in the daytime. People sleep, sleep in the daytime. If they want to, if they want to, I'm checking them out. I'm checking them out. Yeah. 
Remember I know the music? I'm checking them out. I'm checking them out. I've got it figured out. What's your favorite Talking Heads song? Let me know. Who got a match?
Springs at Stank Shake. Having fun while you're doing it. Excellent. Great team, man. So, life during wartime is next. Painting a very vivid picture. 
stop focusing on lyrics. running a country mile. Has any one of you, have you ever been to a Talking Heads concert? I've never, I've never been to one. Awesome. Thank you. Fantastic. Anybody have any questions? Just for that performance alone, I would go out, pay money. Just for that alone. That was great, man. Making flippy floppy. Wait a minute. Everybody.
is definitely their peak, man. 84, 85. Or am I missing another period? Let me know. This is Swamp.
not singing about some sappy ass love songs or anything like that. They're singing about the real issues. Of course, it comes to you with really fucking number tones, but they're singing about some serious stuff. thing that I'm uh, hoping to see. It's just a couple of shots of the crowd. I don't know. That's my thing. I like seeing the crowd, seeing what they're doing, seeing how they're reacting. It's all good, though. Fantastic film so far. Let's pause there for a bit, y'all. Yeah, you know, I've never I've never seen uh, the talking heads, man. I, uh, I have friends who've seen them and, uh, you know, definitely... Uh, had a really good time at the show, but I, uh, I never really had a very strong, uh, I don't know, I guess, uh, orientation, uh, focus towards them. You know, I mean, it's, uh, taken me back to the, uh, to the time and the era of Prince, you know, but 
yeah, hey, these guys are really, really on top of their game here, man. This is an 84. They're on point. Um, would I dare say that this is their peak at the moment? Let me know. I don't know my talking heads history very well. I don't know their timeline. But uh, they seem to be on top of the world here, man. They seem to be really in uh, a groove. And the reason I say that is that uh, their sound <clears throat> live, they have such a great command of their uh, live sound. <clears throat> Their live show, their <clears throat> excuse me, them, their antics and all of that stuff going on. It's just really, really solid. It's polished, you know, their movements, the way they're running and playing and all of that sort of thing. That shows me a group of people who are um, really, really well seasoned and on point. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say that they're um, at their peak. All right, y'all. So. <clears throat> When you drink sugar cane rum, you get parched as hell. I gotta drink some water. So I'm gonna go get hydrated, uh, take a break. We'll come back and we'll hit up part two of this excellent concert film, man. So far, so good, I'm digging it. Peace. Okay, everybody, here we are, man. Let's hit up side two of the talking head, Stop Making Sense. Great film, man. I can definitely see why it's got such a high rating on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. What did you say? 94%? Uh, or 97%? Wow. Totally understand why, man. So, let's hit up part two of this excellent film, man. So, it isn't so much um, a documentary, rockumentary. It's basically just a straight concert film. I was, I don't know, in my mind, I was expecting to see a little backstage, uh, back and forth, some bantering and stuff like that, but it's all good. It's, uh, it's great just the same, just the way it is. All right, so this is part two, man. Stop making sense. Let's get it. And this is, uh, this must be the place.
recent policies actually uh, rehearsed without dropping it, or can it actually fall? in a lifetime.
fantastic. What a great performance. And yeah, these guys were just on it. Uh, this is big business.
and animated, coordinated, and they are having fun doing what they're doing. Nothing too well, over the top. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, the Tom Tom Club, so check it out. That was 
Institute, Genius of Love, as Tom Tom Cup. So this is Girlfriend is Better.
this is an entertaining concert, let me tell you. Take me to the river.
Jerry Harrison. Edna Holt.
that's a damn good shot. Really nice shot there. Right on. A really, really good way for someone to get themselves familiar with the talking heads. That was great. You talk about being jam-packed, yo, great, great film, man, excellent, good quality, sound, visuals, lighting, their choreography, you know, uh, you can capture the look on their faces, all of the sweat bouncing off of them, excellent, excellent, you can't shoot a better um, concert video than this, man, that was great. Absolutely right, Jeffrey. I, uh, I hear you 100%. This was excellent. I can totally see why it's got such high rankings, man. So, that was Talking Heads Stop Making Sense Concert. Have they done any other uh, concerts uh, of this magnitude in film or anything like that? I'd really love to know. And uh, one thing I'm thinking about with these guys, uh, they had a 70s career that was really good. They had a great 80s career. I, I knew them in, in the 80s format growing up in the 80s. What's your favorite time period for the Talking Heads? You know, uh, if you're a fan and you've uh, followed them from the get, what's your favorite time period? What's your favorite song? Uh, all of that sort of thing. Give me a little overview as to why you uh, are a fan of the Talking Heads. You know, what's your favorite jam? That sort of thing. That'd be really interesting. All right, man. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff. So, uh, what we'll do here, man, is we'll call this um, the end of uh, part two. And then um, when I come back, let's hit up a little review, get a little orientated with uh, these guys, who they are, what they are about how this film came about, the motivation for it, the idea of it, whatever the case may be. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. Peace. Okay, y'all, let's do a super quick review here, man, on uh, Stop Making Sense. Fantastic film, great concert, man. Definitely, uh, I don't know if they would consider it the highlight of their careers. Maybe they do. Um, but yeah, I think that they were probably really uh, at the top of their game at this point, man. So, uh, Stop Making Sense is a 1984 American concert film featuring a live performance by American rock band Talking Heads. Directed by Jonathan Demme, it was shot over the course of four nights at Hollywood's Pantages Theater in December of 83, as the group was touring to promote their new album, Speaking in Tongues. The film is the first made entirely using digital audio techniques. The band raised a budget of $1.2 million themselves. It's commonly considered by many critics to be one of the greatest concert films of all time. The film has been hailed by Leonard Maltin as one of the greatest rock movies ever made, and the finest concert film and the finest concert film, according to Robert Criscow, while Pauline Kael of The New Yorker described it as close to perfection. Filming. The filming of Stop Making Sense spanned four live shows at the Pentages Theater in LA. It pioneered the use of 24-track digital sound recording, which resulted in a particularly clear soundtrack. Demi has stated, that one night of shooting was dedicated almost entirely to wide shots from a distance to minimize the intrusion of cameras on stage. Hmm. Then we have considered additional shooting on a soundstage made to recreate the Pantages Theater, but the band declined to do this as they thought the lack of audience response would have hindered the energy of their performance. Yeah, good call. Before the shooting of the movie, David Bourne Burns, sorry, 
implored the band to wear neutral colored clothing so the stage lights would not illuminate anything too distinctive. However, drummer Chris France can still be seen wearing a turquoise colored polo shirt. Demi also considered including more shots of the audience reacting to the performance, as is traditional in concert films. However, he discovered that filming the audience required additional lighting, which inhibited the audience's energy. Okay. This, in turn, made the band feel insecure, as thus led to the worst Talking Heads performance in the history of the band's career. The only direct audience shots in the film occur at the very end during Cross-Eyed and Painless. I see. Okay. Yeah, that was very interesting. Uh, not the most popular call, but I can understand his reasoning. Reception. Stop Making Sense was very well received by critics. On review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 100% based on 41 reviews with an average rating of 9 out of 10. The website's critical consensus reads, Jonathan Demme Stops Making Sense captures the energetic, unpredictable live act of peak talking heads with color and visual wit. It won the National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Nonfiction Film in 1984. Wow, that's quite an accomplishment, man. But yeah, it was really, really well produced. Great quality. No knock against it. Not, not even my little petty desire to see more shots of the crowd. Legacy. Stop Making Sense was parodied in an episode of the comedy series documentary Now. In the second season episode, Final Transmission, the show sees the new wave band Test Pattern play its final concert. It includes references to the staging and music styles of Talking Heads with the band's lead singer, played by Fred Armisen, parodying Byrne. Gizmodo screened the episode to France and Waymo in a video release online, where they both expressed amusement excuse me, and shock at the level of detail gone into parodying the film. No kidding, I would love to see that, man. Byrne himself made light of, the, of his massive suit during an appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, or is it Colbert, where he appeared in a fake ad for David Byrne's giant suit emporium, promoting his new clothing store while insisting he did not sell giant suits like the one he wore in Stop Making Sense. <laughs> That suit killed me, those barrel pants. Uh, Byrne makes an appearance in the children's musical comedy special, John Mulaney and the Sack Lunch Bunch, performing an original song alongside child performer Lexi Perkle. At one point, Byrne and Perkle wear matching pink suits, Perkle's being several sizes too large for her, in reference to Stop Making Sense. Yeah, speaking of suits thing, man, I still remember uh, way back when I was a kid seeing um, the video for Burning Down the House. That was the shit, man. You know, their white suits and everything. And the cute little boy with the guitar and he's got his white suit on and he's shaking his ass. Funny, funny video, man. All right. So that is the information given for this excellent, excellent film, man. Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely agree, man. Definitely one of the best uh, that I've seen personally. And yeah, you know, there's so much charm in uh, this film. Those really, really nice backup singers or uh, whatever you might want to call them. You know who I mean. They're really choice. Eh? They definitely make the presence and the whole aura of the band uh, expand, don't they? And it's just coming on the heels of me watching 20 Feet from Stardom and really forming an even greater appreciation for, you know, um, the backup singers. They are great. And I believe one of them was actually in the um, 20 Feet from Stardom film, um, you know, kind of giving her take on certain things. So that was great. I'm going to go back and watch that again. Unfortunately, I can't shoot it because I suffered a copyright strike on it and uh, it was taken down but um, I, I don't know I might uh, I might try and uh, 
break it up in parts and see how it works. I won't take a chance right now though because uh, I'm still reeling from that copyright strike. One more pinch and my channel is gone so I can't fool around. All right, yo, so that concludes my look at this great film, man. Uh, just checking my notes here. I got some reactions um, uh, in the shoot coming up. Uh, Jeff, Jerry, Amy, Jack. I got uh, a couple of uh, new patrons I'm going to get to, so I'll be busy for the next week. It's all good, though. This was excellent. Uh, Jeffrey, thanks very much for this, man. I've heard about a Talking Heads concert film, so this must be the concert film. Have they made more? And you know what else I want to know? Um, what's happening with the Talking Heads right now, uh, presently? Are they still together? Are they... Um, you know, I know we're in the era of the bug and all of that sort of thing. Um, are they talking about perhaps doing something in the studio? What is going on with them right now, 2021? That'll be quite interesting. All right, y'all. That concludes my look. That concludes my review. Thanks very much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Take care, and I'll catch you later. Peace.